What's poppin' gamers? It's me, Leon, with another 7 Quick Tips video. We're gonna be talking about the best ways to build epic pyramids and other desert or tropical builds. Let's skip the long and boring intro and get right into it. 1. Get yourself a stone cutter. If you're building a desert pyramid, you're going to be making a lot of sandstone. And if you're an old school Minecraft player like myself, you might not be using all of the new features introduced in the past few years. One of the most important of these new features is the stone cutter, a brand new block that actually saves you resources when you craft. Not only do you no longer need to remember a bunch of complicated crafting recipes, but with this epic new tool, you can actually make one stair from one block. This is a huge improvement over the old school crafting recipe where six blocks only gave you four stairs. Keep a stone cutter on you as you construct your massive pyramid and you'll be saving yourself a ton of sand. 2. Go big or go home. If you're going to be building a pyramid in survival, you'll need a few metric truckloads of sand if not more. On top of that, with a design as simple as a triangle, it's a good idea to upscale your ambitions until you're building a massive structure. So that being said, you'll need some infrastructure. Invest the time and resources into making a redstone super smelter. Organize your sand supplies. Grind some extra levels for a max enchanted shovel. Trust me, the extra time you spend in the beginning to prepare is going to make your life a heck of a lot easier once the real building grind begins. 3. If you want to flex on your friends, you'll need gold and lots of it. No pyramid is complete without tons of gold lining the walls, coating the floors, and especially sitting at the top of your build like a crown. You can build some insane gold farms on the roof of the nether, or if you're not a technical Minecraft kind of guy, just find a mesa and strip mine the heck out of it. Once you're rolling in gold blocks, you can pretty much just throw them anywhere you want inside your pyramid and it's gonna look sick. 4. Get creative with your color choices. The light beige color of sand goes really well with all sorts of colors. In particular, red, blue, and green complement it very well. So if you want to spice up the inside or even the outside of your pyramid, consider throwing in some plants, colorful concrete, or even ore blocks if the gold wasn't enough of a flex by itself. Some of my suggestions are to create a huge and colorful throne room with a grand hallway leading up to it, or a deep dark treasure room filled with secrets and luxuries. Real quick, I know everyone's doing this now, but if you could just hit that like button and that sub button, it would help show the faceless algorithm overlords that I'm doing something kinda neat here. Thanks my dudes, you're poggers. 5. Deserts are bland. Don't forget your landscaping. Deserts are cool and all, but they're hella bland. Cacti and the silly little watering holes in the ground that generate naturally aren't nearly enough to make deserts look cool. So if you're building a huge pyramid, make sure to make the outside look great too. Throw in some custom made watering holes complete with bushes, palm trees, and seagrass. Or litter your desert with crumbling ruins, ancient skeletal remains, and maybe even some tiny little huts for a wayward traveler. 6. Water is your friend. Arguably the biggest flex of all is to splatter water all over your pyramid which is smack in the middle of a desert. In all seriousness though, water is a lovely complement to sand and sandstone. Maybe your pyramid is built around a massive central water column that moves you up and down. Or maybe you've got rivers and channels flowing throughout providing water to indoor gardens and crop farms. Whatever you decide on doing, the addition of water is gonna make things look great. 7. Build in some secret rooms, narrow hallways, and most importantly, traps. When people think of ancient Egyptian pyramids, they think of buried treasure, long lost artifacts, and barbaric booby traps. The same thing applies in Minecraft. Your pyramid should be more than a hollow triangle of sandstone. Throw in some secret passages, crumbling tunnels, deadly redstone booby traps, and elusive treasure rooms. You can get super creative with these and it really adds another level of creativity and depth into your build. Alrighty gamers, that's about all the time I have. I hope this was a sick building tutorial for all you radical dudes out there. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not done so already, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.